guys, I'm Chad Hoover and welcome to Monster Bass where today we're going to talk about grinding a crankbait through cover. All right, so grinding a crankbait through cover is not a foreign concept to anybody that's ever picked up a bass rod. What I see a lot of people not doing though is grinding it through stuff like lily pads and vegetation. Now, it's not as easy to do it, but it's definitely something that you can get away with. The way that you really want to do it is you want to do it with a round bill, a spade bill, and a lot of times even a coffin bill. But when you get into square bills, they tend to hit the grass and turn and hang up. One other adjustment that you need to make when fishing a crankbait around less than hard cover, something that's going to have a little bit of give to it, and I do this on tree limbs out at the end of treetops as well, is to go to a little bit faster action rod. Not a fast action rod, just one that's a little faster than your standard crankbait rod. And the reason for that is you don't want it to hit and deflect at a 90 degree angle. You want it to hit and back up a little bit, but then go straight ahead. You don't want that thing to have a really wide swipe to it because it's going to catch on all the other vegetation around it. So I like to fish with an actual swim bait rod or a chatter bait rod in a lot of cases because I do a lot better with those kind of rods when fishing around soft cover, stuff like lily pad stalks, uh, Kissimmee grass outer edges, fishing the outer edges and ticking it along hydrilla, fishing it around salvania and things like that. So if you're going to fish around cover that's not hard, I strongly suggest getting away from a true crankbait rod that's got that really deep parabolic bend to it that deflects that bait way back and has it swipe you know, pretty wide and go to a little bit faster action rod. Again, not a fast action rod, just a rod that's a little faster than your standard crankbait rod. By and large, most companies make a chatterbait rod, they make a swimbait rod or something like that that's gonna be that perfect uh, combination for fishing a crankbait through softer cover. The cool thing about it too is if you're a kayak angler like I am, it actually works really well anytime you're fishing a crankbait around cover. Shallow rock, shallow uh, docks, uh, post stumps, things like that, you hang up a lot less than you do with a standard uh, crankbait style rod. A couple of adjustments that I like to make is I like to make the bait run shallower than it was intended. And the way that I accomplish that is I tie a, a heavier leader than normal. So most crankbaits depth is based on using 12 pound line, whether that's 12 pound fluorocarbon, 12 pound monofilament. Um, and so for me, it, because I fish braid primarily as my my main line, or even if I'm going to throw a crankbait on straight fluorocarbon, I like to upsize my line when fishing an intermediate diver, something that's supposed to go five to seven feet to get it to go four and a half to five feet. So I'm hitting that target depth, but it's running a little bit shallower. And one of the cool things that you can do is hold your rod tip up and reel it a little faster and it'll almost wake or seek the surface and get even higher than that. So guys, if you're not fishing a crankbait around soft cover and especially not around hard cover, pre-spawn, through the spawn and post spawn, you're probably leaving a lot of fish on the table, especially a lot of big females that are staging, getting ready to spawn, and ones that have moved out after the spawn. Now, something to keep in mind that I don't think a lot of people understand about how the spawn works is, once people find fish on the beds, they stop fishing for them in other places. But odds are, if you find fish staging and then you find some fish on the beds, there's another wave of fish that are moved into those staging areas. So don't put the crankbait down just because you're sight casting the sunfish on the bed. Keep this thing in your arsenal pretty much anytime that water temperature gets in the high 40s, into the 50s, and especially post spawn in the 65 to almost 80 degree water temperature uh, time frame. Just gonna have to get a little deeper and a little deeper and a little deeper following those fish into their summer pattern. All right, so if you're not hanging up, you're probably not fishing it close enough to cover. If you're not uh, giving the bill a run for its money and putting gouges and nicks in, into it, you're not giving it a run for its money. If your uh, main running line is not needed to be retied about every 30 or 40 casts, you're definitely not fishing it uh, close enough to cover. I know it's got treble hooks on it, and a lot of people are intimidated throwing crankbaits around cover, but if you learn the nuances of worming that thing through cover, sneaking it through there, running it into pad stalks, you'll put a lot more fish in the boat, especially early in the season and all the way up until they commit to their summer pattern.